Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is t power 6 equals 2 power 6. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. So let's move this over here. We have t power 6. It becomes minus 2 power 6 equals 0. So we can have this as t power 3 times 2, that is 6, minus 2 power 3 times 2, that is 6, and this equals 0. If you have a power x times y, equals a power x or to the power of y. So this will be t power 3, to the power of 2, minus 2 power 3, to the power of 2 equals 0. Power 2, power 2, let's expand using a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. We have t power 3 plus 2 power 3 times t power 3 minus 2 power 3 equals 0. Right now, we equate each of them to 0. T power 3 plus 2 power 3 equals 0. T power 3 minus 2 power 3 equals 0. Let's solve these individual equations. So for the first one here, if you have a power 3 plus b power 3, this equals a plus b times a squared. This is minus ab plus b squared. And in this case, our a is t and b is 2. So let's apply that here. We have t plus 2 times this is t squared minus t times 2 plus 2 power 2 and this equals 0. So from here we have t plus 2 times t squared, this is minus 2t plus, this is 4, equals 0. So from here we equate each of them to 0. We have t plus 2 equals 0. Of t squared minus 2t plus 4 equals 0. So from here, Let's solve this individual equation. We have t equals negative 2. That is my t1. And for this, we have t squared minus 2t plus 4 equals 0. So we solve this using the formula method. We have t equals negative p plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. So from here, we have a equals 1, which is the derivation of t squared. a equals negative 2, which is this, and c equals 4, which is the constant. So from here, you simply have t equals negative times negative 2, plus or minus square root of this is negative 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 times 4 divided by 2 times 1. So from here you have t equal this is 2 plus or minus square root of this is 4 minus 16 divided by 2. So from here you have t equals 2 plus or minus square root of this is negative 12 divided by 2. So from here, we have t equals 2 plus or minus this is square root of negative 1 times square root of 12 divided by 2. From here we have t equal this is 2 plus or minus this is i, the square root of negative 1 is i times this is 4 times 3 divided by 2. So from here you have t equals 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4 times square root of 3 divided by 2. 
So from new here, t equals 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4. That's 2 times root 3 divided by 2. This cancel, this cancel, this. So we have t equal, this is 1, plus or minus i times root 3. So we have two complex values for t. We have t1 equals 1 plus i times this be our t2 because we are gotten t1 already and t3 equals 1 minus i times root 3. Now we need to solve for this other equation for t here. Remember our highest exponent here is 6 meaning that we are going to have six different solutions and we have gotten three solutions already. So we need to solve for the other solutions or for the other values of t. Now we are going to consider this other equation, this one here, because we have solved this one. So this is t power 3 minus 2 power 3 equals 0. If you have a power 3 minus b power 3 equals a minus b times this a squared plus a b plus b squared. And don't forget the fact that our a is t and b is 2. So what we are going to have will be t minus 2 times t squared plus t times 2 plus 2 squared and this equals 0. So from here we have t minus 2 times this is t squared plus 2t plus 4 equals 0. So let's equate each of these to 0. We have t minus 2 equals 0 and we have t squared plus 2t plus 4 equals them. So let's solve these individual equations. For here we have t equals 2, that is my t4. And for here we have this quadratic equation in which we are going to solve using the formula method. And we write the formula in respect to t, which is t equals negative t plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. So from here, we have a equals 1, which is the equation of t squared. b equals 2, which is the constant here, which is the equation of t and c equals 4. So let's insert it right here. We have t equals this is negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is 2 power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 4 divided by 2 times 1. So from here, I'll t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is 4 minus 16 divided by 2. So from here, t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is negative 12 divided by 2. So from here, ft equals negative 2 plus or minus times square root of negative 1 times square root of 12 divided by 2. So from here, ft equals negative 2 plus or minus. And don't forget the fact that square root of negative 1 here is i times square root of 12 that is 4 times 3. And this is divided by 2. We have t equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4 times square root of 3. We vary by 2. So from here we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4 that is 2 times with 3 divided by 2. So right now, this comes with this comes with this. 
ja t equal to negative 1 plus or minus i times root 3. So you have two complex values for t. You have t5 equals negative 1 plus i times root 3. We also have t6 equals negative 1 minus i times root 3. Now we have four complex solutions and two real solutions. The real values for t are t equals 2 and t equals negative 2. These are the real values. You can verify using these real values. You have t power 6 equals 2 power 6. You substitute this for t and up to power 6 equals 2 power 6. And 2 power 6 is 64. And this equals 64. You can also verify when t equals negative 2. You have t power 6 equals 2 power 6. And t equals negative 2. That means you have negative 2 to the power of 6 equals 2 power 6. When you have negative to the power of an even number, that will change to positive. So it is just like writing 2 power 6 equals 2 power 6. And 2 power 6 here is 64 equals 64. The both sides are obviously the same, meaning that our answer is correct. So ladies and gentlemen, this is it. And this is how you solve this exponential problem. I'm finding all values of t that satisfy this equation. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and goodbye.